Slinger getting it going early. After Air Force fumbled away the opening snap, the Slinger to Derek Yule. 22 yards on the play, 7 nothing Colorado State a minute into the game. Later in the first, 20 seconds left, 10 nothing Colorado State and Darren Hall. They're not going to get him. 77 yards. 7 nothing Colorado State after one. And the Air Force fans have to be stunned. Cut away. 17-3 Colorado State in the second. This may have been a very big play. A very big play that helped Air Force stay in this game. Tony Jones picks off the slinger. Two plays later, Bo Morgan's little brother Blaine takes it. Air Force down 17-10. Still 17-10. Slinger looking for Derek Yule. Inside the five. Two plays later, the slinger would punch it in, make it 24-10. Now 27-17 in the fourth. Air Force ball to seven. Bo Morgan's little brother Blaine. Third touchdown of the game. Air Force trails 27-24. Now tied late in the fourth. Air Force ball. Fisher to Barry. Elects to go for it. Fourth and one. And it's Morgan. First down. Air Force gets to the 23. Time winding down. Jackson Whitting. 40-yard field goal. Good. Air Force wins it. <sighs> I love college football. 30 to 27. Five losses, but that was yesterday. 107,000 plus in Tennessee to watch this one. And watch Florida's defense led by that man, Javon Curris, up 3 0 late. T. Martin hands to Sean Bryson, who goes past everybody, including Curris. 57 yards later, a touchdown. Wait a minute, Steve Spurrier? This isn't supposed to happen. Falls up 7 3. It was tied at 10 in the third. Martin, back to pass. The touch. Toward the end zone, peerless prize between two Gators. That's confidence. 17-10, Tennessee leading. But next Florida possession, Jesse Palmer. Back to pass. Travis McGriff makes the grab. Oh, McGriff gone. 70 yards. Palmer's second TD pass of the game. We're tied. It remained tied to overtime. Florida, here comes the flip. The Gators win it. They go on defense first. The Vols, Phil Fulmer, thinking upset. Tennessee in trouble, though. Third and 23 from the 38. Martin to pass. Tucks it up and runs down to the 24-yard line. A big, big play because that sets up Jeff Hall from 41 yards away. The kick is up, and the kick is good. Wow. 2017 Tennessee. Spurrier sends out the offense. First and 10. Florida on the 15. Doug Johnson. Johnson looking end zone. Travis Taylor. Oh! No, just misses it. Travis Two more Taylor incomplete passes receive. later. Fourth of 10 at the 15. Collins Cooper, 32 yards away. No good. No good. It's happened. Fulmer has gotten it done. Tennessee wins. And knows that I think all 107,000 that attended this game <laughs> went on the field. 20 to 17, the final. So Tennessee beats the Gators for the first time in six tries. His old buddies, Craig's replacement, sophomore Ben Laird. Laird, first pass, I'm nervous. Picked off by number 18, Clarence LeBlanc. LeBlanc scores 7 0 LSU as they opened up a 13 zip lead. It was 19 7 LSU, and Laird connects with Karsten Bailey. Auburn within five. They cut the lead to two at the break. Third quarter, still 19 17 LSU. Herb Tyler fakes the option, finds Larry Foster, who is wide open. Nice play. Foster, 10 catches of 111 yards and a big, big LSU win. LSU capitalizing on Auburn's four turnovers, and it didn't matter that Kevin Falk finished with just 88 yards rushing. One for Joe, just over 30 seconds left in the third. Kevin Thompson drops back. Chaffee Fields gets behind the defender, goes 60 yards in all alone, put Penn State up 20 to 6. Walt Harris's team down 20-13, a minute and a half left. First down, Matt Lytle drops back. Lytle sacked. Second down, Lytle pressured, brought down by Brandon Short. Third down, Lytle, no time. That was the story. LeVar Arrington taking Lytle down. Lytle sacked eight times on the day. Penn State always seems to find a way when they have to. 20 to 13, the finals. The Lions squeak out a seven point win against a pit team, which barely beat Division I AA Villanova. Huskers made Mizzou tougher. 
Ohio, Ohio State early in this one. Joe Germain to Michael Wiley, who fakes out everybody, including the cameraman. 21 yards for the score. Seven zip Buckeyes. 10-7 Ohio State, but the Tigers stay in tough. Joe Germain deciding to run with it, and he gets crushed by Barry Odom. Is this shades of Katz and Moyer hitting Corby Jones last year? Jermaine fumbles. Carlos Posey, 65 yards the other way for the score. Larry Smith's team is up 14-13 at the half and smell an upset. Third quarter, pivotal play. Missouri down seven, but driving. Fourth and one at the Ohio State 33. Jones keeps it, runs for the first down, but fumble! Ohio State recovers, and they would make the most of it. Michael Wiley, the 12-yard burst up the middle. His second touchdown of the game. Buckeyes go on to win it 35-14. Wiley gaining 209 yards on the ground. Late first quarter, Longhorns already down seven to nothing. Ricky Williams hit at the line by Jeff Kelly and fumbles the ball. Mark Salmono recovers. Williams held to 43 yards on 26 carries. K-State scored two plays later. Second quarter, 14-0. Texas forced a punt. Look at David Allen evade the tackles and sprint up the right sideline, and they're not going to get him. 28 points in the second quarter for the Wildcats. A 93-yard touchdown here by Allen. Second longest in school history. His third punt return touchdown in three games. Wow, late in the quarter. Texas trying to get something going. Major Applewhite's pass. Picked off by Jeff Kelly. Returns it for a score. Kelly finished with 11 tackles. Also forced a fumble that led to a score. Wildcats cruising over Mac Brown's Longhorns. 48-7 the final. K-State's now won 42 straight in Manhattan over unranked teams. Folks, turn your head away right now if you don't like Joe Theismann meeting with LT because right here freshman Freddie Mitchell ouch before he's taken out of bounds breaks his left femur he will stay in Houston for surgery tonight you can now watch again after trailing early in the game by six UCLA leading 28 14 in the third Jason McKinley picked off by Ryan Rock takes it back 17 yards for the easy touchdown one of three picks thrown by McKinley Talk about squeamish. Kim Helton didn't want to watch anymore either. UCLA wins it. Lost two in a row since Miami and Florida beat him in 91. How would Chris Winky be received at FSU's home opener after last week's loss? Pretty well. Depends on if he performs. 7-3, FSU down until Winky's 30-yard pass to Peter Warwick puts the Seminoles up 10-7. Later in the second quarter, Lavernius Coles takes the kickoff, comes upfield, gets some great blocks by Jeff Cheney and Patrick Hughes, and he's open. 97 yards for the touchdown. Seminoles go up 17-10. to They score 52 points in the middle two quarters. That's more like Florida State. 62-13 to the final. The Seminoles continuing their domination of this series. NC State down in Waco to battle those Baylor Bears that lost to Oregon State last week. Hot day in Waco. Temperature 110. 5-0 Baylor. Derek Lagway gets the handoff. Breaks through the defense. His shirt is ripped, but he's in the end zone anyway. 27-yard touchdown. 12-0 Baylor. Second quarter. Still Baylor 12-0. Jamie Barnett hit by Jason Jackson. Kenyatta Parker recovers the fumble, and he's going 82 yards the other way for six. 18-0 Bears. They led 26-0 at halftime. Third quarter, though, down 26-8. NC State coming back. Barnett looking deep, finding Torrey Holt, who is long gone. 80 yards for the score. He had a school record 255 yards receiving with 11 catches. After the two-point conversion, it's 26-16. Now 33-30. Baylor late in the game, fourth and one. Barnett gets to Chris Coleman, barely stays in bounds for the first down, as you see on the replay. 13 seconds left, final chance to tie. Sophomore Kent passing him has missed two field goals already. Junior Scott Earwood watching because he has shin splints. The field goal attempt is blocked. Baylor with the upset win, 33-30. So NC State, who had to block a punt themselves, passed four. Fourth quarter, Clemson down 17-11. Brandon Streeter to a streaking. Brian Wofford outruns the defense for a 54-yard score. Clemson leading 18-17, bouncing back from that 37-0 skunking by Virginia Tech last week. Under a minute left in the fourth. Todd Braverman sets up for the go-ahead field goal. The sophomore missed an extra point and a field goal in the Auburn game, but hits the 30-yarder. Virginia up by two. One last shot for Clemson and they've got the ball at the Virginia 40. Streeter decides to go for the Hail Mary. And it is knocked down inside the 10. Tommy West not happy with his quarterback's decision. The Tigers fall by two. For Champ Bailey. Bailey turns the short pass into a fabulous 51-yard catch, and he's gone. Six catches for 100 yards, one TD. Georgia wins 16-9. Rutgers take them for what they are. And what would that be? Not great. Number 13, Syracuse, they're pretty good. Look at this. Very sweet. 
very sweet. The Statue of Liberty play works to perfection with Donovan McNabb and Kevin Johnson taking it in. 35 nothing Syracuse. And just before the half, McNabb tying Glenn Foley's all-time Big East record with a 61st TD pass, hitting Johnson here for the score. 70 to 14 was the final. Was I right about yeah. Rutgers? UNLV at number 14, Wisconsin, Ron Dane. You know, he reminds me a lot of Jerome Bettis with a bus. You know, Dane rushed for 108 yards. He's a big guy. Became the Badgers' all-time leading rusher. Mike Samuel hitting Chris Chambers' 29-yard strike. The Badgers win easily. 17-13, Scott Covington. That's a prayer answered by Reggie Wayne. Wayne. Just, just watch and enjoy. Look at that move. Oh, look at that move. Look at that one. 84 yards score, 2017 Miami. 32 seconds left tied. Fake punt. Pitch to Jimmy Kibble. First down. Flag thrown, but the flag was picked up. Butch Davis not thrilled. 12 seconds to go. Hokey Shane Graham from 35 yards out. Misses. So we go to overtime. Tech's first possession in the OT. Outclaw. Lofts it up there for Ricky Hall. Great grab for the score. And in dramatic fashion, Ra Tech would win it in OT. Utah State, what about them? Taking on number 15, Colorado. Seven to three buffs in the first Utah State. Alexa to punt, a third down, the ball rolls, but Kelly is going to eventually pick it up. Kelly is gone. Was anyone else paying attention? What happened there? 68-yard punt return for a touchdown. Colorado wins 25 to six. Nice dive. Is that a play? 69 yards. Okay, your game's over. Number 18, Texas A&M at Southern Miss. Dante Hall gets the handoff, breaking tackles. Then Hall dodges another tackler. Hall, do the dive. Right there. 44-yard score. A&M wins 24-6. And West Virginia fans getting unruly in Morgantown. The referees pick up a whiskey bottle that had been thrown on the field. We had a whiskey bottle thrown on the field. It'd be 15 yards this way. Don Nealon not played. Second quarter now, a golf ball thrown at the Maryland punter, Russ Edwards. Same problem also occurred in the fourth quarter. We have another golf ball thrown on the field. That's a dead ball, unsportsmanlike conduct. On West Virginia, we're penalized half the distance to the goal. You know, and I got Absolute embarrassment. West Virginia penalized 14 times, twice thanks to the so-called fans. Zone five. Pac-10 action. The Beavers of Oregon State visiting USC. Second quarter. Danny Bravo blocks the punt. Rashard Cook recovers for the USC touchdown. Trojans up 14-7. OSU down 17-10. Second half kickoff. It's Tim Alexander. Was their starting quarterback the last three years. Lost the job to Terrence Bryant this year. He's playing flanker. He takes that one 100 yards. Untouched. We're tied at 17. Fourth quarter, Chad Morton, Johnny's little brother. 12-yard TD run. Ran for 123 yards on the game as U.S. Florida taking on Purdue. Knights driving. Dante Culpepper had been intercepted all year before that when he threw for 368 yards. But Mike Hawthorne stepping in front there. And Hawthorne taking it back 60 yards. About to be pulled down. Laterals to Billy Gustin. It's Purdue's longest return of an interception since Rod Woodson took one back 100 yards in 86. This one officially 100 yards as well. Purdue wins 35 to 7. Eastern Michigan visiting Michigan. Anthony Thomas, 117 yards and three TD runs, including that one for the Wolverines. Drew Henson, the freshman phenom, 32 yards here to David Terrell. He was three of six for 53 yards. Was Henson as the Wolverines finally get a win, 59 to 20. North Carolina and Stanford. Cardinal up 27-13 midway through the third quarter. Tyrell Godwin coming up big for North Carolina. He takes it back 100 yards for the TDs. Carolinas trying to bounce back from that season opening loss to Miami of Ohio. This is the longest kickoff return in Tar Heel history. Late fourth quarter, tied at 34. Backup quarterback Joe Borchard in for the injured Todd Husak. Takes it 41 yards on his first play of the game. Didn't throw a pass, but still came up huge. It sets up Kevin Miller. 20-yard field goal. No time left for the game winner, and he drills it. Stanford wins it 37 to 34. Carolina now 0 and 2. Marshall in South Carolina. Marshall, a little chicanery from the thundering herd. Chad Pennington hands it to Doug Chapman between his legs. Still fumble risky so many times we've seen it. It's Chapman taking it in 70 yards for the touchdown. Marshall wins it 24 to 21.